look at this crazy cosmo I have growing. Now, this is not a good thing. This is actually quite bad. This plant is infected with Aster's yellow. However, I'm absolutely fascinated with the natural world and its resulting ecosystems, so oddities like this are interesting discoveries for me, even though I'll have to scratch this plant and hope for the best. So, here I am, sharing footage of this plant and letting y'all know what disease you're dealing with, even though it would have been cool if it was a harmless mutation, though. Aster's yellow is caused by a different phytoplasma, or bacteria, that must be within a host, either a plant or the leaf hopper that spreads it. It cannot survive outside of these two hosts. There is no treatment or cure for these. They simply must be destroyed. There's just no way to get rid of Aster's yellow once they're infected. You're going to get crazy looking flowers that have green leafy areas growing from what should have been a flower in most cases. This also affects 300 different species of plants but the aster family is most commonly affected. Now this includes asters, calendulas, cosmos, zinnias, coneflowers, and many more, but veggie plants can also be affected. It occurs in common weeds like dandelion and ragweed, which act as vectors for the disease outside of the garden, so the leaf hoppers will spread disease between all of them. You'll see a lot of stunted growth, weird looking offshoots from the plants, small, maybe yellow leaves, chlorosis throughout. So this disease isn't very fun to deal with and it's especially problematic for greenhouses and carrot farms. But I just thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and show you guys this so that you know what you're dealing with if you come across it in your garden. So if you see this, please destroy your plants. So thank you guys for dropping in and I hope this helped you in your garden.